Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Dean. Corey Dean here for Transatlantic Gaming. Thank you for being here for Bloodborne Part 8. Man, it's been going good. Been going great, actually, for a long time now. And um, I always have to mention it. I'm sorry I keep bringing it up every time, but it, it still just is is exciting to me that I can actually bring you guys this full playthrough because um, oh man of how much I love Bloodborne and just the fact that I can actually live stream now and it actually works really well it's it's uh, it's been fun so far and it's about to get even more interesting today because uh, now we're moving on to Hemwick which we uh, we made it to at the end of the last episode um, and I mentioned Hemwick is not particularly, um, uh, very, uh, like, in a super difficult area. And, um, it's also not, um, it's also not a place that, um, whoa, whoops. No, don't go stabbing. Put the controller down in the wrong spot. There we go. Um, it's also not the kind of place that has a, a ton of lore importance, but there is, um, a few items that are particularly useful and um, there is a little bit of uh, story dialogue that also is kind of interesting and important to pick up along the way so um, we're gonna tackle that it shouldn't be um, too difficult to get done with Hemwick and if we get done with Hemwick in the full go uh, I may go ahead and jump straight into um, uh, cathedral wards, um, Grand Cathedral, and finally, um, finally take on the boss of, um, of the Cathedral Ward, which, um, like I said, you gotta kind of collect all this stuff first, it really helps out a lot, and on top of that, it's just, it makes sense to do it in this order, because the bosses that you fight along the way are, are definitely a lot easier than the one that you fight in the Grand Cathedral. I won't say anything about who it is, or what what it is, and what the fight's like, but I will say it's a difficult fight, definitely. And also, um, not everybody knows this, especially if you don't have the DLC, but the DLC actually becomes available after you defeat um, the boss of the uh, Cathedral. Now, in all fairness, by the time you fight that boss and beat him, beat it um because it is an it i will tell you that much it is an it um by the time you beat it um you are nowhere near the level of being ready to take on the dlc um i as i've mentioned before it's scaled for late game so you know it's it's probably um well, it's definitely even harder than, you know, the end game bosses with that the, the the DLC bosses are the hardest bosses in the game as far as main game bosses. Some of the Chalice Dungeon bosses could be arguably a, as difficult or maybe a little more difficult, but at the very very least um for the main game, the DLC bosses are most definitely the hardest bosses in the game. So, um Outside of that, um, the rest of the bosses in the game, there's some, I mean, you never know which ones are going to be tough and which ones are going to be easy. And the other factor is, to some people, a boss that's extremely hard, somebody else might say, man, that boss is easy. What are you talking about? Um, one of the best examples of that is in Dark Souls 3 with the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. I thought that was the hardest boss in Dark Souls 3's main campaign. Um... By contrast, a lot of people said that the Nameless King or Pontiff Sullivan were the hardest bosses of Dark Souls 3. For me, they weren't that difficult. Um, the, uh, the Nameless King was kind of tough. Pontiff Sullivan was not very tough for me at all, really. Um, but the Dancer, <laughs> Dancer killed me more times probably than any other boss in the game by, uh, by quite a few. So, um, that's just one of those um factors of um of from soft games that you could never tell what is going to be difficult and to who um but that's what keeps it interesting so anyway um 
I didn't, um, after I got done yesterday, I did a little bit of upkeep, um, not a whole lot, but I, um, I did just enough to, uh, get, uh, yeah, as you see, I got another, uh, blood vial there from Adela, um, I leveled up once, um, I leveled up one of my weapons, I think, um, or did I? Maybe I just rearranged the blood gems. I can't really remember exactly what I did. But regardless, um, I basically did everything I needed to be ready for this next session. Um, and so there's not really anything else I need to do. Um, so, um, with that being said, let's go ahead and just get started. Um, get my headphones on, right? Hang on just a second. They're falling off my head. Okay, there we go. Um, Alright, let's do this. We're heading back to uh, Hemwick. Let me just double check one last thing. I, I hope I didn't uh, forget to repair. Um, oh, there is one thing. It'll just take a second just to see, but... Um, yeah, those are repaired. Okay. Um, because it's not that big of a deal, but... Um, I've been waiting to see if this dialogue would appear. Um, let's see if it's... Nope, not this time. So, um, I've been waiting for Garman to appear again. Uh, as you remember, it's been a while since Garman appeared. It was after the uh, the Blood Starved Beast the last time he appeared. Um, so, anyway, um, yeah, we have a new uh, headstone, by the way. This one's for the Frontier. Um, the Frontier headstone is for um, areas that are sort of more on the outskirts of Yarnum, not in the actual city itself um so like uh since this was kind of through the forest on the side of now this is i assume still technically a part of yarnum but it's not in the city uh of yarnum so it's still kind of um still obviously uh directly connected but not at all and um sharing the same sort of uh, sharing the same sort of t exact territory and it looks obviously very different this is more like small woody woodland villages versus the city itself so anyway um let's see here I forget everything that uh, this first area will give you a great idea of what we're gonna be up against in this area so what do we have on this it's, Tristan. Okay, so we're good to go. So yeah, just just look at these freaking crazy ladies. Hemwick, um, the village itself is, um. As you'll see, it's it's the type of place that seems to be littered with people of various superstitions and um, beliefs. But really, that didn't hit. Come on, there we go. Um, seem to all be partaking in certain rituals and um, whoa hey there bitch you hit me once too many because you only hit me once man I didn't get any attention okay well let's see who's next God, my damage is so good, still, man. Let's do it. 
damage is doing great. Now this lady, if you pop out at the wrong time, this lady can uh, mess your day up. <laughs> um, because I think, I know at the top of the stairs there's another one, but I think there's dogs down here somewhere. Hey, bitch. There you go. I thought there were dogs over here somewhere. Ooh, twin bloodstone shows. Nice. Um. Huh. Maybe not. Um. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, um, this area isn't exactly, uh, very welcoming looking. <laughs> um, oh, um, so by the way, everybody, I wanted to make mention of this, um, before I forget to, because, um, it's kind of important about something going on. Let me get this dialogue real quick and then I'll mention it. <laughs> Damn, that freaking voice is creepy. As I mentioned, this village seems like they're more almost embracing um, the night. Um, even though they're not hunters, they're not residents, they're, well, they're residents, but they seem to have some, or, some sort of other uh, idea in mind. Um, I don't think there's anything I can grab. Yeah, this elevator is a shortcut that we're gonna open very shortly. Um, once again, another lantern. So even though that this village has, you know, all this stuff going on, there's still a lantern with incense to keep beasts away. They don't, they still don't want the beasts barging in on them. So, um, but uh, what I was gonna say was uh, concerning um, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Um, and the videos for it, I've, um, well, I didn't make any mention of anything yet except for on Twitter. I don't know, um, if anybody has been wondering what's going to happen, but, uh, there's only been those two videos going up so far. Um, the plan at this point is, um, since we've had, um, a number of other people get involved, uh, MLA and David Wilson have both. Uh, jumped in to play some matches with me and um, I've also played a bunch with other people in the lobbies um, so um, since those have been kind of scattered and random rather than trying to live stream them I've just been saving the video clips and at this point I think the uh, the plan is just gonna be to um, upload them all in one uh, in one big compilation video so, um, instead of doing it in a way where it's going to be split up, since I've got quite a few saved already, but not a ton, and I could make a fairly decently long video uh, with what I've got, but I might as well add the few more that we're going to be able to have since the last, I mean, we're on the last 24 hours of the beta period, and I think that it would be a better idea at this point to just um, wait until the uh, wait until the uh, beta ends and then after the beta goes off from being live um, just upload everything and then have some stuff there so that uh, anybody who uh, didn't get to play the beta can have the matches to watch after it goes off live and um, that's what I was afraid of that bitch I just throw on her Molotovs down at you. If I remember correctly. I could. I think I was just knife her. <clears throat> oh, wait. Nah. That's not gonna do enough damage. 
Here we go. Oh, how'd that miss? Anyway, um, so yeah, that's, uh, so everybody knows that's what's been going on with Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I've got plenty of stuff to upload, um, and you'll get to see, ooh, a triangular shaped, uh, rune. Or not rune, triangular shaped, um, wow, of all the times I've played this game, I never noticed this staircase on this side. <laughs> that's crazy. I played this game so many times I never knew that was there. Huh. Well, good to know. Um, anyway, um, so um, yeah, you will be getting plenty of matches coming very soon. Um, we're going to play some today and uh, save as many as will work out. We've had some difficulty with you know um, figuring out what to do because. Uh, you can't have lobbies with, you know, groups of people that can watch the matches and, and play at the same time. You can either, uh... You can either be playing, or you can be waiting for a match, or standing a at a machine. So basically, point being, um, you can't make it so, like, one single person is... Man, I'm getting a ton of those. One single person is able to live stream it or um, essentially just, uh, you know, play and watch and be in charge of a video at the same time. So, because of that aspect, it was kind of a, a fortunate way that we had to set up our, um, our sessions, but there are matches with everybody included. Um, MLA does have some of his own matches on uh, his YouTube page, so you can go ahead and check out uh, MLA Gaming at YouTube and check out his matches if you want. Um, I should link that also in the video. Um, I'll sh try to remember to do that. If I forget, somebody will remind me. And I'll put it in later, but regardless, one way or another, I'll link off to MLA's matches on his YouTube channel. Um, and, um, in the meantime, just be prepared for our first, or our last, um, <laughs> our last set of Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle matches. Uh, well, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle Beta matches. Um, and as I mentioned before, um, if you pre-ordered the game, you still have access to um, all of the characters and all of the same features except for online mode um, after the beta goes offline, which is nice because um, I'll get to practice playing until the game comes out. I hope that training mode opens up because it has been very crippling to not be able to use training mode, unfortunately. Especially for me, I, I spend so much... I probably... I think I've said this before too, but... I probably spend more time in training mode than any other mode in, in every fighting game I play. But, um... One thing that, uh... Remember to look for. If you go the other way, she'll ambush your ass and... That's not fun. Anyway... Um, so, yeah, it'll be, uh, be one hell of a month leading up to Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, because on top of everything else, we've got Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, which I'm sure will be live streaming, and in the case of that game, um, that one's a lot easier because, uh, well, I don't think there is going to be a beta for that one, but when it comes out, at the very least, um, it will be easy enough to um, to stream it, um, since the lobbies will be... I'm sure the lobbies will be similar to pretty much every other Capcom game. Um, but aside from that, the, uh, the other big one is... Um, which I apologize, I didn't get any footage, but... Um, from the beta of this, but, um, 
Dark Souls Remastered comes out, um, I think the 30th of, um, of this month, um, or at least I, it's the last week of this month, I, I'm pretty sure, um, and that one I am for sure going to live stream. I should be done with Bloodborne by then, which is great. But the, um, the thing is, um, and I'm kind of curious to, to hear how you guys feel about this idea. So if you guys have any, uh, any input, let me know. But, um, I figured this would be a good opportunity. So, um, there they are. Um, I figured this would be a good opportunity. So rather than, um wait for another different stream. Um, I may go ahead and do... Um, oh! There you are. Um, I may go ahead and do um, my first Twitch stream with um, <laughs> uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Okay, I think we're done. Finally. Um... Because, uh, that's another game that's like this one. I know it very well. Um, it will be, um, it'll be right after release, so it'll be something that people will be looking to check out, probably. Um, and, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. um, Drawing a blank. Here's that uh, shortcut. I better open it. Just go ahead and finish that. Um, but anyway, um, and it's um, not even that expensive of a game. So um, it's actually going to be. I think it's forty bucks on release. So yeah. Uh, so all that stuff combined um, makes me uh, kind of feel like it'd be a great time to do that and. Uh, you know, to top everything off, it's like I have been talking about this for a long time. I've wanted to start streaming to Twitch. I've wanted to start putting uh, content and and um, different uh, different types of um, media, be it new artwork or new. Um, uh, oh, I got stuck in my grave. Um, But anyway, I've wanted to do stuff like that and put it on different sources for a long time. I've, um, I've had some other, um, you know, channel artwork designs. I've, I've wanted to, um, offer services to other people to do their artwork or their, um, uh, channel videos even, um, in some cases. Um... So, it, you know, as, as far as, like, um, branching out to different media, um, Twitch is just another one of those things that I really want to, um, really want to get myself, um, involved in, not just for the, uh, man, I hate this part, um, I should be able to handle it, but if those ladies start, come on, come this way. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh man, I missed. Better heal. Ah, missed again. Oh shit. And there I go. I was killed like an idiot. That area sucks so bad. It's so tight. I should have been more fucking careful. But he didn't do one pa he didn't do one of his attacks that was easy to parry. They were all the charging attacks or the multi-hit attacks. None of them. It's just my luck. Oh well. I opened the shortcut. I can get back there easy enough. Let me just take a second. This time I'm pissed though. I'm fucking not fucking around with you assholes.
Hey, cunt. Ah, forget her. Go this way. Forget about it. I won't make a stupid mistake and fall down the well. I think it was... No, actually, I think it was, uh... There's a, um, YouTuber named, uh, Throthgar. Um, he probably does some of the absolute best playthroughs of games like, um, um, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, um, even, uh, well, in particular, he really gained popularity from, um, Skyrim and, uh, mostly Skyrim. Um, he used a lot of mods and he did voiceovers, sort of like in Machinima style of, uh, Oh, this bitch has my souls, huh? There we go. Er, echoes. <laughs> I'm trying to break that habit, so... Okay, you know what? Let's try it like this. I know it's gonna be kinda rough if I miss, but... It's gonna be way... Oh, jeez. Oh, now he did it. Heal. Heal. Oh, and of course, I should have known. Man, I'm playing like an amateur again, man. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I need to make a new rule. No, no streams two days in a row. Like, man, every time I do this, I play like shit the second day because I freaking... It's frustrating. Screwed that up. Bad. I think I've died to that ogre like once in every playthrough that I've ever done of this game. So this is really depressing. And that's what I mean. Like, it's. I guess it's. You know, I guess in a way it's kind of good because it's really given me much more appreciation for the general aspect of streaming and the kind of pressure that it adds to the game. Um, because I have made so many more mistakes during this playthrough than I've made in a long time in Bloodborne. And um, the only variable other than... Um, Other than my character build, is that um, it's on a live stream. Damn it, freaking bitch. So, you know what? I'm gonna do this the easy way. I'm gonna make sure I do this really safe. I don't care if I waste my last Molotovs. I am fucking gonna get rid of this asshole. Oh, of course I miss. Yeah, yeah. The... He's got my souls now, so it's just you and me, you son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, and of course I missed the damn. Once again. I'm oh, and there There goes a blood vial because that's what he surely dropped. I'm Well, okay. There we go. Problem solved. Now I can move on. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Come on. Where are you? There you are. There should be one of yeah, there's one above me. Or is that just the residual from I thought one threw it from upstairs. Maybe not. There we go. 
go. This barn is, uh, you'll see when I turn on the lantern, it's pretty disgusting. <laughs> um, hang on just a second. Let me, uh, just make sure I can't, I don't think there's anything else out here, but let me just double check. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Um, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's crazy how... Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep. Thought so. Um... Yeah, it, it, it's just... It's crazy how... I, I really honestly think that... Um... It's just the the um, the knowledge that I'm doing a live stream. That's the big difference. Um, I I don't think I ever would have been able to, um, you know. And I'm sure over time, as I do more, I'll get used to it, and it won't be as big a deal. But but at this stage, with this being. Um, you know, such a um, such an early. Um, I mean, this is the first game that it looks like I, I'm actually gonna probably end up finishing. Um, and live stream, so um, there's just not enough light. This is just too dark in here. I thought there was something in the rafters here. Must not be there though. Oh, that's one of those fucking... Yeah, I'm not getting him. He's lure he's gonna lure me into a trap. I'll get him later. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, so back to um. What the hell was I gonna say? Um. Well, yeah. Besides um, besides the streaming aspect, um. I really, uh, I really am looking forward to what's, um, what's going to be coming up soon, and I'm, um, I'm really glad that, uh, that I picked this game for my, oh, look at this, ah, Mr., Mr. Gunner. Today, you old bastard. <laughs> um, but you know, I don't think I could have asked for a better game to pick for my first live stream. Even though I'm having a hard time with it, I I played so much of this game that it's the perfect game to be playing for my first full live stream, and it's one that um, is actually pretty interesting to be able to dissect and uh, discuss. So not only uh, getting a fun game that's good in terms of gameplay, but a game with a great storyline and some excellent, uh, uh, some excellent writing, um, and just some of the most amazing artwork that there is out there. In fact, um, there's a big set now of um, artwork from um, from all the Souls games and Bloodborne. Um, I'm not sure if there's one for Demon Souls or not. I hope there is because that one would be really interesting. Some of the designs in Demon Souls were absolutely awesome, just like every other game in the series. But um, Demon Souls is very unique just because of the fact that it's um, it's pretty much outside of um, the universe of of both games. It's, Bloodborne's got such a big following behind it that even though it's um, a standalone title that is not related to Dark Souls at all. Um, it's still a big named game, and um, it's got a lot of large fan base. Um, Demon Souls is a much older game, and is 
in this day and age, more of a cult classic than an actual big name, large, um, uh, uh, you know, big big name game with a huge following. It's more of a cult classic, um, but it was still just absolutely incredible. Looking at some of the artwork um, online, conceptual artwork, and even just um, some of the handcrafted uh, art that came out that was based on designs from the game. Um, you know, it was at that time, it was like, it was ahead of its time. And, and looking at it now, it's almost funny. A lot of elements of, of that game kind of remind me of a combination of um, of elements in Bloodborne and elements in Dark Souls. It's, it's still a high fantasy game, or, or well, a fantasy game. It's still mostly dark fantasy, but um, but even though that's the case, some of the um, design, you know, has how it has more to do with um, demonic entities, and there's a little bit more in the way of um, kind of technology, you could say. Not like, you know, nothing modern, but more if you were to say, like, comparing it to modern day um, or, or not modern day, present um, not present, man jeez, um, I am drawing a blank entirely on the words here. Um, Alright, Dick. There we go. Now, see, I get this one right away. Perfect. It's only when I'm under... Pre oh, man, he's still awake! Thought he was dead for sure. How did that get? I thought... Screw it. Hold on. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. Let me see. If you were to compare the... Um, the games Demon Souls and Dark Souls and compare them to the real world settings of similar time periods. There we go. Now, that was what I was trying to get at. <laughs> um, I can't pinpoint specific points in time that I would relate both to, but I will say that in um, in Demon Souls, it seems like it's uh, the the um, the setting is a little bit more like advanced technologically than um, than it is in in Dark Souls. Now that could be because of the fact because of story elements involved, um, which I won't spoil if you haven't played the games because um, the the timeline of um, both games is very complicated. But hey, what's up, MLA? How you doing, man? But yeah, the timeline of both games is very difficult to pin down by just discussions, but uh... You notice the one that was over here, she tried to push me off the cliff because uh, down there that's where uh, there's a lot of real uh, intense troubles, but anyway. Um, so god, oh man, I'm sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. Maybe I should just shut up and finish this area. Um, I know there's one in here. But let's just say that in, in every game that is, um, uh, that's in this sort of, um, that's from the studio, um, Everything, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, everything in that in those franchises, um, time is very convoluted, um, and it's supposed to be that way. Um, there are reasons for it. Um, so when you try to make a timeline, it's it's definitely not as simple as just drawing a line from A to B and kind of connecting the dots and figuring it out. It's it's a lot more difficult than that. Uh, I'm doing alright. I think um, 
So I hope it wasn't too big of a mistake rushing into this game today because I started off pretty, pretty badly. But uh, I think I'm, uh, I am picking up the pace now. I'm doing a little bit better, but we'll see how it goes. By the way, once again, here we go. Here's another room where uh, makes you just wonder, like, what in the fuck is going on in this village? It's like I said, um, <clears throat> this is a village that you can see is very. Um, they seem to be very much into like witchcraft, and um, there's a reason that I was talking about sort of rituals a lot. And you notice that I've got a couple of bloodshot eyeballs. Now I mentioned that before that um, the witches, when we were in the unseen village, their grab attack, um, when they catch you with it, they gouge your eyeball out. Um, that's because of the uh, the idea of using that item as a um, as a item to use to open a chalice dungeon so it's used in chalice rituals to access the challenge the chalice dungeons but uh, it's also obviously a ritual um, a ritual component and since the uh, the ladies in this area for lack of a better term I'll call them ladies just for sake of uh, convenience um, since the ladies in this area all, um, oh shit, he saw me. You're not stopping me from opening this shortcut, though, motherfucker. There we go. Okay. Since the ladies in this area all, um, drop items like the eyeball, um, you can tell that they're a bit more ritualistic than, oh shit, that sucked. This guy is rough. It's like that guy in Yarnum that was like this. Oh, that was close. You know what? I better use this for the reach. Got it. That'll work. Oh, yeah. He's still not... Oh, this one is dead. Okay. Although I did land that backstab damage, so that helped, of course, but... Sweet, that's a bit cold blood. Oh, how many? Oh man, I got a ton of souls. Oh, er, echoes. Okay, you know what? Um, the boss is right up that pathway. Um, I don't want to fight him yet. Um, or it yet. <laughs> them yet <laughs> this is actually a, a I didn't really know what to classify this next fight as um, but um, I really don't want to fight them until I go and take care of these echoes the problem is that since I've died um, oh I could just use a man I haven't used a hunter's mark in forever okay that's a good idea what I'm gonna do then is um, I'm going to use an uh, a hunter's mark after I finish up clearing out this area down here because I don't want to have to clear this out where is he? oh there he is oh Jesus holy hell this is what I signed up for I got it. All right, that's how we do. <laughs> I forgot, man. Those dogs down here. There's a ton of them. I f I didn't remember there were that many. <laughs> Jesus. Whew. Okay. And oh, man, they hurt. That's why I want to make sure I go back. But I think that was the main threat besides that other walking uh, executioner. Um, right. <laughs> Okay, now this is just one more, what is this, just one more dog? 
No, it's a uh, dog and a lady. Which I think that was why the dogs were around her. I remember that. Um, I remembered there was someone that was kind of like basically telling the uh, in in control of the dogs to some extent, like you know, sick boy, but um, sick him, sick him, but. Uh, and of course she's throwing her fucking mall. But you're not getting me, bitch. Oh nice. There we go. I finally got some more of those. Um I better be safe. Let's keep this going. Now I know that out here this is a rune. Um and it's a good one too, if I remember correctly. Um now, I'm gonna mention this now, but, um... Oh man, I hate this freaking area. I'm not even gonna play. The lake room, that's right, that's it. Okay. I think I got everything from over here. Oh, look, I can get back, no problem. Alright, cool scared the hell out of me for a second. Now, um, this area right here, actually, um, in order to access one of the, uh, one of the game's hidden areas, probably the most popular area in the game, and one of the most infamous areas in the game, Castle Kanehurst, um, this is where you have to go to do it, although it has to be a little bit later, um, you have to have an invitation, um, and you don't get that invitation until, um, I forget when exactly you get it, but it's, um, it's around the midpoint of the game, which, believe it or not, we're actually coming pretty close on approaching the midpoint. We've got, we're almost done with this area, so we've got the boss here and then one more major boss. And then pretty much just one more major area and, and another two more bosses, and that's it. One of them is the easy boss, one of them's pretty tough. Um, so a total of four bosses, um, and, um, total of four bosses and about two er two f big areas, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, Anyway, 20,000 echoes, let's fuck it. Oh, and a bunch of, you know what, this is a good opportunity. I can finally buy the uh, sword I wanted. Um, then I can have a really nice secondary weapon too. Um, but there's one thing I want to see, which is... I want to see how much the cold blood gets me because um, I want to be able to level up too, but uh, four thick cold blood or three, three thick cold blood four. <laughs> okay, that should be good. so that's 1000 per uh, use of a three. This should be either 1,200 or 1,500. Ooh, I might not quite have enough. No, I won't. But, you know what? I better just... But wait a minute, I can't even use it yet. What stats do I have? Because I did put... Yeah, I still need two more points in strength. Yeah, no. Let's just level up. Fuck it. <laughs> Get that later. Um, there you are. Welcome. What is it? I could use a... Uh, Very well. Let me stand. Some upgrades to a few things anyway. Um, 
Now here's an interesting. Um, oh, we're moving up to ten thousand echoes for levels now. That's uh, now we're starting to get into the point of the game where choosing where to put points gets increasingly difficult. Um, this be like if I put I do need more health and endurance but I'm all right for now I think I think I'll go ahead and do this I think that's probably the best idea because um, I still am working my way up to um, being able to use uh, the bone Farewell, good um, May you f so I can use the quickening ability um, Now let's fortify. Oh wow, we can do a bunch of weapons. Um. Okay, the Tonitrus. It's gonna gain. Wow, that's gonna put it above two hundred. Okay, so what about the uh, threaded cane? That's still really good for just straight raw damage. Um, although, you know, to be fair, the Tonitrus is a weapon I'm going to be using probably throughout most of the game. The Threaded Cane is kind of more like a good weapon, but it's one I'm just going to be using more temporarily than permanently because eventually there's going to be too many good weapons and I'm going to have to get rid of it. As the Tonitrus, on the other hand, is going to be useful in not all the time, but especially against specific types of enemies that have particular weaknesses to bolt or to blunt or, you know, any kind of uh, attribute that, that the uh, Tonitrus has. Um, and since I'm going to have arcane damage on top of all that, um, this is also going to be a great weapon just for that fact alone. So I think the best idea is to just go ahead and pop the point there. And then... Um, I can finally add this... Um, Oh, wow, it's a good one, too. Man, that's really good. It might be worth it to try the uh, rifle spear out, considering it is a... Uh, it's also a dex-based weapon, so, or a skill-based weapon. So, um, What's the other stone it has in it? This one is... Oh, wait, this is the threaded cane. Wait, what's, what's this one? Oh, that's right, this is specifically just for thrust attacks. Not so much. That's still the best, uh... <laughs> I 
Jeez, man, this is tough. I think I'm gonna have to leave it alone for now and just call it good. Um, oh, damn. Let's see, I don't have enough of... That's plus 1.4%, but it's not high enough for 0.3% to make a difference. So, I might as well put this rune in here because I can, once again, start healing myself over time. Um, it's like with the shotgun. Oh, that reminds me. Blood gem fortification on the uh, sh on these weapons. Is everything... Yeah, that one's good. That one's good. What is this going to do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes the most sense. Okay. Um... We're ready. Time to go fucking take on this fucking boss here. Um. Oh, is, uh. Is he here yet? Nope. Oh, still not here. Hmm. You know, it might be after you get past the Cathedral Ward. I think that's when he starts showing up. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I need a couple more of these. A few more of these. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you know I will. Um. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Time to, uh, now I'm gonna take the shortcut to, uh, well, the shortcut to the shortcut. Um, there's one reason why I absolutely love getting these things set up this way. Um, and all of the games from FromSoft in, in this genre, they do a great job at making it so that you know, the checkpoint system is... Uh, I remember... <laughs> I always have to bring it back to dumb shit Phil, but uh, once again, I'm going to bring it back to dumb shit Phil. Um, I remember at one point um, him complaining, well, where's the save point? Where's the save point? Where's the save point? And, and it's like, dude, there are no save points. You've played, like, every game in the series, and you don't remember that there's no save points. <laughs> There's lanterns, and in Dark Souls, there's bonfires, but that's not how you save. The game auto-saves. Um, oh shit, she saw me. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh no, I'm not, because she's dumb. Die! Die! I'm dumb too, though. I guess not as dumb as her, though. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought she was going to stay there. Okay. Break her back after laying her out on the fucking tombstone. Anyway, um... So, yeah, it's, it was funny. He's like, I don't even remember where my last save point was. I don't remember where the save point is. There are no save points, Phil. So, anyway, it's good. So, what do we have? Oh, we're not even at an hour. We got plenty of time. Ow. Don't fall off the cliff. And, as I mentioned before, be wary because... This bitch will come out. No matter which side you approach from. Oh, man. Um... Okay. And I don't want to attract too much attention, so I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> Indeed he does. One down. Alright, asshole, let's go. There we go. 
remember, you're not gonna die from that. So I'm gonna just bust your ass. Now let's see if I can do this without attracting too much attention. I think I'm good. If I go this way now. Wow, that hurts a lot. Man, he must be weak to lightning. Huh. That's good to know. Sweet. Or maybe it's the fact that I just leveled it up that one level, and that was a very good idea, apparently, because... But no, there's no way it would have done that much damage, especially... Those guys are very, very heavily armored, and it... Yeah, as you've seen before, it takes quite a quite a few hits to, to chip them down, but... Um... This one comes out on his own, or if you have to draw him out, but I do remember those witches pacing back and forth. He does come out on his own. Okay. I'm gonna deal with him before I do anything else then. Crescent gemstone. Oh, that's right. There's a chest over here. I forgot about that. Another. <laughs> nice. Oh, this looked like definitely a way to get over that hill, but apparently not. Um, oh, they're right over me. Oh, shit. Yeah, one of them's gonna throw. One of them's got a spear. One of them's got a hammer. Oh, shit. Kane's gonna be a much better idea. Oh, Jesus. And then this bitch is the only one that's left. It's throwing. Are you serious? No, get out of there. Get out of there. Jeez. Oh, that was close. You freaking cunt. You almost screwed up my whole run. Go to hell, you fucking broad. Jesus. Ugh. I swear, those ladies are really not, <laughs> they're not that rough on their own, but once they're in groups like that, it's like, <laughs> oh lord. In most cases, I just try and run past them, but um, I uh, wanted to clear everybody out before I did this run, so. Because, like I said, this is actually a very easy boss fight when you know what to do. Now, if you don't know what to do, this boss fight could take you forever. Like, you could be sitting in here trying to figure this shit out for a long, long time. But, uh... But, oh, shit! Yo! More twin bloodstone shards. Sweet. But yeah, if you um, if you know what to do, this fight is very very easy. Um, there is some um, there is some necessity to kind of keep it. Um, what's the word? To kind of keep uh, keep yourself in distance and be patient. You have to be patient during the fight. But uh, aside from that part, it's it's definitely not a difficult fight. So. Um, so what am I gonna do first? Let's see. 
I know they don't have anything like that, so let's get rid of this. Um, the paper is going to be one of my most important elements during this fight. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any specific item that makes things easier, but to be honest, I really don't think there is anything specific that you really need, but, um... There so far, just that. Eh. Oh, you know what? I'll just use regular throwing knives as a. Um... Now that's my item as a uh, a test item, and I'll explain what I mean when you actually see what I'm gonna have to do in this fight. Um... Hmm. I don't think I want to use this one. I'm gonna end up using. Uh... I wonder if the flame sprayer would be a better idea. Mm. Nah, I better have that just in case. Okay, all right. Oh, uh, sorry, gear. Um, let's see. I got that new armor, and I, oh yeah, that's right. I did put on one piece of it because it was definitely better. Um, That's one reason this has been hard. My fire damage or defense seems to be fairly low. Um, oh no, it's not on this stuff. It's not. Hmm. And to be honest, I really don't remember exactly what kind of attacks you're you're going to be up against in this fight, but I do remember. Um, that, well, that would be nice if it, I don't think you have to deal with poison, but I don't want to run the risk, and then, right here. This is the best choice there, too. I maybe already have the best gear on. I don't know. Oh, this might be a better idea. Yarn on my trousers. Tomb, tomb prospector trousers. That might help. The Yahar Ghoul Black. Tr oh no, the fire defense goes down. Oh, f you know what? I forgot the frenzy could also potentially be a problem. Let's go with this. I think this is probably going to be our best. Here. Oh man, seven and fourteen for poison. This seems to be the most well rounded. Um, it's going to do to all my. Def it's about half up, half down.
You know, just looking at what I have now, what are my defenses? Not so great against Arcane. Good against everything except Thrust. I don't think they're going to really use Thrust. Um, as far as the... Uh, um mm. oh yeah was my fire oh yeah my fires mm. honestly what am I looking at here I need that I need that resistance, but I can't spare any more um, physical defenses. I guess losing out a little bit more poison is not that big of a deal. I don't think we'll call it good with this setup. Honestly, this boss fight is so easy, I really don't even think all of this is necessary. But for the sake of being cautious, I'll do it that way. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go take care of this. Now. There we go. Hemwick Witches. Or the Witch of Hemwick. Now, that's not the boss. <laughs> uh, this is the boss. But, that's not all. There, is that the, that must be the other one. No, nope, that's the same one. Damn it. Um. There is a second witch. And I really want to find her before it gets too late into the fight because. The key to this fight is killing both witches as close together as you can get it. Um, because if you don't, they have the potential to respawn each other. <laughs> um, but the problem is that they're both invisible. That's the same one again. And I've had this go both ways too. I've hit the one that's not the one with the bar at the beginning. Um, I've hit the one that is the bar um, that has the bar um, and almost completely drained her health all the way down before I even found the other one. I mean, I've I, I've had them. I've run into both of them very quickly. Um, I've had where it takes forever to find either one of them. Um, I've seen I've seen everything possible in this fight. The other thing about this fight is, as you notice, as the, uh, as time goes on and as you do more damage to the witches, that guy starts getting more aggressive. And I will just mention that a second one comes out. Um, and I think a third one even can come out if it takes you too long. Which is why it's very important to try and get done with this fight quick. Although, it doesn't have to be that quick. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna hurt her really bad. And then get the hell out of here. She can switch me over. Now where is the other one? She's gotta be here somewhere. There she is. Nope, that's the same one again. There she is. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Now we're, uh... Now we're making some progress. Now, I think that... 
this is the... I see both of them now. Oh shit, get out of there. Okay, I can't tell... what the health is of this one here, so... Saving that fire paper for when we get them down to low health so that I've got to be getting them close to the same health by this point, though, to be honest. They've got to be near hurt because they can't take much damage. I mean, it... it's almost dead already. Okay, she's starting to use her paralysis attack, and I think she summoned another. Uh, yeah, she summoned another ghoul. Um, so now is when things start to get a little bit more. It's just this this fight, you just got to really be aware of your surroundings. And it can be a kind of boring fight, like I said. It can, it can get pretty boring. Um, but... Um, oh, and by the way, don't even try killing the, uh, the other ones because they... Um, they just get brought back to life anyway, so. Okay, now they both have to be really hurt by this point. Okay, it's time to use fire paper. There's one. No, you're over here somewhere. I saw you. There you are. Okay, one down. I gotta find the other one quick. Where is she? Yeah, she does not... Oh, there she is. She does not have much health left. Not you. No. Shit. Got it. Okay, cool. There we go. They don't know where. <laughs> All right. See, now that's more... Um, to be honest, if you played this game for the first time and... Um, oh, hey, Predator. How's it going, man? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even notice you were there. Um, yeah, um, if you played this game... I, I was right in the middle of a boss fight, so that's why. If you play this game for the first time and, and you have no idea what you're getting into, this fight can be, you know, like, oh, God, what the fuck? What, wh whoa, what am I supposed to do? So, yeah, you know what I say? I just whoop their asses, really. There's more than one, so I whoop more than one of them. But, uh, okay, let's light this lantern, but before we go back to the dream, ooh, that's a lot of echoes. That's sweet as hell. Um, before we go back to the dream, the, this is really what we came all this way for. Um down here. Now this is a very interesting room and a very important item. Bear in mind this is in the fucking you know <laughs> this is in the bowels of Hemwick Village. This village where there's obvious sacrificial rituals involving sadistic torture and murder of people for these rituals that are performed by witches and everything else but uh you have this hunter here tied to a chair. Now, who in the hell is this hunter? He looks like he's been tortured, and it looks like, as with a lot of the corpses, I didn't show you guys, but a lot of the corpses in this area, the eyeballs have been taken out. But he has the rune workshop tool. This is what I've wanted to get, and I've been mentioning this for a while. Now I can finally use runes. Um, let me show you the item real quick. I think it's in the key items. Yeah, here we go. Um, so, rune workshop tool. Enables the etching of carol runes into one's consciousness. So, Runesmith Carol, student of Bergenworth, transcribed the inhuman utterings of the Great Ones into what are now called carol runes. 
The hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch Carol runes into the mind to attain their wondrous strength. Provost Willem would have been proud of Carol's runes as they do not rely upon blood in any measure. So, that is, um, there's a lot to digest with that, but let me get to that in just a second. I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Workshop, and, or the Hunter's Dream, and uh, get these points spread out. Now, this is the first mention of um, the name of this character, uh, Carol. Um, whoever Carol is, it seems like they were... Uh, well, you can tell that there's a lot to gain from that. They were a student at Bergenworth. They were the ones who were able to translate the, um, the words, if you call them that, of the Great Ones. Um, and the translation of those words is what is found on the runes, which I'm about to show you. Use the memory altar. Use the Carol rune uh, to use the uh, abilities and actually um, put them onto your uh, put them into your mind, so you gain their power. Now, this is um, anything that's anything that's in quotation. That is the essentially the translation of the rune. So, for example, this, this symbol represents the word for um, communion um, as spoken by a great one. Um, now, once again, the great ones are beings that, as I mentioned before, exist like in a higher plane of existence. It's similar to, like, the writings of H.P. Lovecraft. Um, the thing, though, with um, these runes, though, is that um, they can't be spoken. You, they can't be translated as far as into spoken tongue. The only way... the yeah, the only way they can exist in a tangible form that's recognizable by, by an average human being is by these symbols on these runes, which is why Carol is recognized as being the one who made this great achievement because essentially whatever Carol did was take the word of the Great Ones was able to process it somehow and translate it into an image that represented that word and could be and could be used by a human mind to gain the power of the Great Ones <laughs> by using these runes. It's, it's such a crazy twist on the way um, on the uh, on the whole mythos behind interaction with um, beings of greater uh, you know um, beings from a higher plane of existence godlike beings um, but it's um, it's also um, such a important topic in this because um, you notice the statement, uh, this is the first time you've heard of Provost Willem before. This is another character that's pretty important. Provost Willem is basically the head of Bergenworth. Um, I won't tell you much about him at this point because very, very soon, um, there's going to be a very major revelation with, uh, Willem and Bergenworth. Um, after the next boss fight, there's going to be a very big revelation there but um, what I will say is that it was it was uh, mentioning that um, Provost Willem would have been proud of Carol's runes as they do not utilize blood of in any measure so as you can gather from this um, for whatever reason which 
obviously there's quite a few reasons that we can tell, but um, it, it's unclear as to why he felt this way because we're talking about things that happened quite a long time ago. Um, he's he is against the use of blood as a means of healing or as a means of um, uh, uh, to attain greater power. Um, but something like this, even though it's invoking the powers of these beings that are on a higher plane of existence, he's proud of that success. So it just makes you question what exactly is the difference here. And you, you'll be able to find out very shortly. So I'll explain that when we get there. But uh, in the meantime, let's hook up some runes and get ourselves going to um, now do I have a better communion moon than this one or is this the only one more blood echoes from visceral attacks that's pretty cool it's nice for farming um, the lake rune um Enjoy reduced physical damage. Oh, okay. That's a definite. <laughs> that one's going right in there. <laughs> reduced physical damage. That's a big one. Um, let's see what that. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that. Uh, it jumped up from 236 to 259 for physical. Blunt went up from 252 to 275. And thrust went up from 219 to 243. Blood damage even uh, went uh, too so um, that's a that's a very nice one um, let's see here there's moon um, gain more blood echoes um, since I might be fighting a boss next that's not exactly one I think I will really want to uh, use but uh, oh and the beast rune now beast runes are very unique but I'm not going to go into detail on that yet because it's unusual but um okay this one for sure I want more quicksilver bullets I think it's four on this one yeah. I better just go to this page and stop reading the things so uh more blood echoes from visceral attacks um Yeah, I guess this is the best thing I can get for now, even though the air rune is nice. Um, I will be using the uh, moon rune for um, when I'm running through areas because it definitely would help to... Oh, whoops. I, oh, yeah, I didn't put that in. There we go. And as I said before, um, runes... Um, um, they exist in different forms like higher level ones like so even though i have a communion rune that um gives me one extra vial there's another communion rune that lets me get like plus three vials or something um the one that i have for bullets is uh much better but um the one for blood vials is just by one but then again, one extra blood vial can mean the difference between winning and losing, so it's not something I'll really complain about too much, but I do that. So. Alright, let's uh That reminds me now. That is
Oh. No, repeating pistol. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's what I want. Um, let me switch back to a few things that are specifically good for now. Um, should I go back to those, or should I switch to... You know what, these are actually good for this area. Oh, I'm about... Yeah. Yeah, that's a good choice. Um, the next boss fight... Um, it's a toughie. <laughs> it is most definitely a tough fight. Um, I think this is a good choice there. I think I'll go with... Maybe I should just go back to Henrik's cap. <laughs> um, although, to be honest, the defenses aren't that great. Um, I don't have any um, headgear yet that is really particularly good defensively against just straight physical damage. This one is, but blunt and thrust are terrible, so it's not even worth the difference. And... Yeah, so I, I think I'm just going to have to go with this setup. I think that'll work. Um, anyway, you know what? While I'm here, too, let me just go ahead and uh, pull these out. Just... Oh, wow. This is interesting. Um, yeah, it looks like it, man. It looks like it. Um, I hope I can get it. <laughs> I hope I can get this done. This is gonna be a rough one. This is gonna be very rough. Um, but I can do it. I can do it. Um, let's see here. Um, I think I can get two more Welcome levels. Home, good heart. What is it? Very well. Let me stand close. Oh, stop sitting no, down, you right. idiot. Those damn emotes, man, I swear. Okay. Ooh, not quite enough for a second level. Well, that does get me enough for, uh... Um, do I have any, um, no, nope, I'm all out of those, um, okay, let's see, and here's another question, now this boss is, um, it is a beast, um, so it's gonna have weaknesses to two specific things, to fire and to serrated weapons, now, this is the only serrated weapon I have, but it's not that great. <laughs> um, this can be uh, charged up with fire paper, um, and it has excellent range, which is important in this fight. But if I tried to get what's available now, is there anything? Yeah, it's still... Now, this weapon... I do have the stats finally to wield it, but the problem now is that even if I do get it, I'm going to need to level it up because it's not going to be anywhere near powerful enough to deal with her yet. And, um... Hmm. Nah, you know what? Screw that shit. Screw that shit. I have a much better idea. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll do this. Um, what's the best thing I could sell? Hmm. 
damn, I don't have quite enough twin bloodstone shards, though. Um, and I don't think I can buy them yet. Oh, I could sell one of these. Um, oh, that's not even going to get me enough. Um, let me get rid of this. I need three more points in arcane. Man, it would be nice to be able to use that. Jeez. I have nine bolt paper. I could sell two of these. I could bear with doing that. And then that should be enough to get that level. Welcome. What is it, Hugh? Very well. Let me stop. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, now the only question is, what should I put it in? Because there is, um, with Arcane, that would also increase fire damage when I used my, uh, man, the Tonitures is up to 213 now, jeez, that's awesome. Um, there's also the idea that Endurance would be a good place to put it so I have a little bit more stamina so dodging doesn't take as much out of me um I don't think my health is particularly bad at this point um and I always like having a good healthy amount of endurance because but then again man I'm level 44 and my health is still pretty low mm. This is a tough one. What happens if I put a point into skill? 56 on the whip. I know I said I didn't need to do this for a while, but... Having extra damage might help. Um... Hmm. Man. Make a decision quick. Try and figure something. This is going to be 767. 12 defense. would really help in the long run as far as getting, but it won't help for this fight except for the defensive bonus I, no, you know what, it will help for the yeah I have a build in mind and I'm going to stick to it, so I'm going to do it that Farewell, way good. May you. but next level I need to start focusing on both endurance and vitality because I'm starting to fall behind a little bit on that um I'm not the kind of person that needs a shit ton of uh, vitality to uh, be able to keep myself going, but um, I do feel like um, it's a much better idea and I do feel a lot more comfortable when I have, um, when I do have some, so. It looks like there are no twin bloodstone shards that I can buy. Um, I was gonna say that would really, really help if I could get the, uh... Yeah, just one more. Man, that would help. Um, do I have any other blood gems that would help? You know what, um... Let me check something real quick. Because right now, um, I'm not going to be using the rifle spear in this fight, so. Oh, damn, that. Whoa! And it adds slow poison effect. Holy hell. It's a trying. I can't use this in the other weapon, but I mean that's a really, really good 
Man, that's nice. Huh. Okay, that's cool. Um. Okay, let's see here. Um. What's the other one? What is this? This is 2.1 and plus 0.4. Yeah, actually, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um. I'm going to remove this for now. On the threaded cane. Oh, that's only one more point. Wow. Is there any other... Hmm. This one's only 2.1. Same as that one. Okay. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, oh, that's 2.7. What happens if I put 2.1? Okay, that's only. I mean, the Tonitrus is already. <laughs> Tons of this already does ridiculous damage. So, what if we put 2.1 instead of 2.7 and the rally potential to go up um, because of the damage difference there just being insane. Uh, 7.3 there. Um, and then we put this one here. Yeah, then it goes up to 46 with higher rally potential and another extra effect. Okay, here we go. This looks like a, that's a much better idea. Okay. Um, okay, last thing, real quick. Tonitrus. Um, this one, is there anyone better than that? No, there isn't. Um, I am going to be using the shotgun as my gun for this fight, too, so that's another aspect. Okay, let me put something back in on this one, and then we'll call it good. Um, oops. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. We're ready. Um, whew. Have my... Uh, my smoke while I make my way to the boss fight. <laughs> Actually, there is a summon outside the boss room in case things get really bad, but, um... Nah, I, I think I can handle this. This is, uh... To be honest, this is one of those rites of passage boss fights. It's kind of like, um... The way Father Gascoigne was at the beginning of the game. Um... This is the midpoint version of that boss where it's essentially there to almost um to almost test your um test what you've learned so far to make sure that you've been gaining um gaining skill as, in terms of your gameplay ability and not just leveling up your character so that, I like that aspect of it Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, uh... I did talk to this guy not too long ago, but, um... This here is a safe place. Stay as long as you like. But next time you're out on a hunt, remember what I asked. If you find any sane survivors, tell them to seek shelter at Erden Chapel. Because there's nothing to fear here. <laughs> it was interesting that when I talked about, uh, when I talked to him the last time, I, I, uh, I accidentally talked to him after bringing, um, this lady here, and, um, 
he just kind of said the same thing as he did about the old lady. Um, and it was, um, it was interesting. It was something along the lines of, um, oh man, you know what? I missed somebody. There's somebody else that, um, oh, I remember who it is. Uh, I can get him after the fight. There's one more guy I can get to come to the chapel who's a, uh, well, he's somebody worth it, and you kind of needed to finish the, uh, the, uh, church guy's, uh, quest thread, but, uh, anyway. Okay, yeah, the damage is really good with this thing now, and my defense should be freaking awesome now with those new, uh, those new additions. Oh man, that's still hit. Somebody should drop a blood vial before I get there. Even if they don't, I have 20 now. <laughs> That's a full stash normally. Okay. I have to be safe on the approach because I gotta make sure that I don't fucking get overwhelmed. But, uh, there we go. Trigger him to go up. Trigger the other guys to come down. Oh yeah, by the way, um, to everybody here, um, later on today, not immediately after this stream, but, uh, a little bit later, um, me and, uh, David Wilson were discussing another session of, uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, um, I'm sure MLA, you're probably gonna wanna get down on one more session before, uh, because... The beta period officially is on its last day now, so um, we're going to play one more time and record some more matches so that... Um... Oh, jeez, man, my t range is so off now. Really? Wow. Anyway, um... There we go. There's both blood vials back. Um, anyway, uh, and since today is the last day of the, uh, the beta, we're going to play some more matches, and I have, uh, let everybody know at this point that, um, instead of doing a live stream of any more matches, I'm just going to, um, wait until everything's done, and then do a compilation video of, uh, of everything. Wow, that missed too. Man. I got too accustomed to the rifle spear and how far the range is. There we go. Oh man, those fucking. Ugh, I hate fighting on those freaking stairs. Ah well. Anyway, ah, got more than enough blood vials now. Okay. Alright, um, I should be safe for approach now. I just gotta get, get past two more, um, two more church, uh, these guys with the crosses. Uh, I don't even know what they're called, but these motherfuckers. Uh, 
I just gotta get past these motherfuckers and then we'll be ready. So. There we go. One down, one to go. Oh shit! Oh, that was close. I managed to get enough back with, uh... With regeneration to... Not have it be much of a problem. Okay, so... Um, it'll take a second, but, uh... That should be enough to, um... Have the effect of my, uh... Item heal me for the rest of the damage. Now! Alright, um... Here we go! <laughs> You know, open the big doors. It's not right in here, but uh, here we go. <laughs> Things are about to get real right now. Oh, man. All right. So, um, I abs by the way, uh, man, this freaking entryway. I love this entryway. And, um, and once again... The heads of these uh, statues, they should look familiar by now. Um, and once again, if you remember in the, uh, the Unseen Village, the statue I pointed out there, um, looked very similar, don't they? Um, anyway, um, she's weak to fire, so... That there, and that there. Um... Anything else that will help? Not off the top of my head, no. Um. <clears throat> I don't think so. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna ixnay the oil urn. I don't want it to be too difficult to navigate between my items. Um. So yeah, the tornadoes. Then we have Oh, you know what could help? Um Actually I should put this in just in case. Uh, I haven't used it at all up until this point, but it could come in handy, the uh, bone marrow ash. Um, this basically makes it so that your firearm actually does damage, like real damage. But um, only for one shot. So, um, all right, here we go. Um, man, this is going to be rough. <laughs> um, Get nervous thinking about it even, but... Uh, So, as you see, up there, I'm trying to get close enough to hear the chanting. Prayer to seek the old blood and partake in communion of the old blood. Um, basically, as a means of ascendance.
Oof, that scene gets me every time, man. That shit is fucking crazy. I actually was doing insanely good damage, but man, that was just... Ugh. Well, you know what? Now that the door's open, I can just... Uh, I can kind of make this a little bit easier. You know what? I'm actually... I'm going to go YOLO since I've been fucking... Um, I haven't done this yet, but I might as well give it a try. I don't have many souls to worry about, and I really want to get back in there and uh, give it another shot. The... As you see, that's a lot like the boss fight with the, um, with the, um, the very first boss, the, um, uh, oh, what's it called, um, the, uh, Cleric Beast. Okay, there we go. Ooh, a blue elixir. Ooh, you know what? That could help me out a lot right now. Barely saw me. Okay. Should be able to make it past this without much trouble. Oh shit, I didn't know he was gonna be there. He didn't even make it all the way up the stairs yet. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that was all we needed to do. We're safe. Um. Okay. Eh, use a blood vial. We're good. Um. In fact, it probably would be a good idea to go into this fight with this on because I can have my health regenerating as I fight, so. Ugh. There we go. Let's get this going. Fuck this shit. You think we're done, bitch? We ain't done. Visceral. Oh, yeah. Is that another one? Oh, it would have been another one. Man, I forgot. 
forgot how much flame does. Oh my god, the damage is good. I got this now. That's it. <laughs> oh man. Then I make it look like it's easy. <laughs> Jesus. I think it's uh, time for one of these. Oh. Oh, I didn't assign it. Uh, we'll just do a... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That'll work. Oh, man. Nice. Damn right. <laughs> Damn right. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man. Ugh. In June at 8 in the morning. Man, you're planning way in ahead, man. Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, let's get back to... Uh... So, um, this is the perfect spot to leave this off on because there's one last thing to do here. Um, and this will be the, uh, the key that helps us in the next episode because... Um, the next area um, is going to be the Forbidden Woods. Um, and this is basically how you get that pass code for that doorman who was asking what the password was. Um, but to get that, we need to go and check this. So, thanks, man. I appreciate Man, that was crazy. And... I should have been using flame from the beginning, even though lightning works good. Flame, of course, works way better on beasts, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so, this is a very important lore cutscene, so, um, check this out if you have interest in the storyline. This is very, very interesting. Master Willem, I have come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. And there it is, our flashback to the past, which um, is actually um, the adage of Bergenworth, fear the old blood. Um, now, this is what I was talking about with, um, with the Carol runes, as I mentioned before with the uh, rune working tool. Um, Master Willem was proud because it didn't use blood in any way to give people the powers of the Great Ones. Oh, there's the item for the uh, DLC. Um, I'll grab that in just a second. But um, it didn't. Uh, it didn't use blood in any form. Master Willem was against the use of blood, but still was interested in the powers of higher. Um, higher knowledge um, and there seemed to be some sort of rift growing there um, where people were starting to experiment with blood in ways that he found either um, either uh, harmful or potentially dangerous um, so anyway, um, 
once we actually get to uh, a little bit more knowledge you will get about the great ones you can understand why but um, but for now um, the eye of a blood drunk hunter beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare a deformed capture uh, deformed creature will whisk you away outside Uden Chapel um, I actually go will go ahead and use that in the next episode because there is um, even though it's late game DLC there's nothing wrong with going and checking it out and there is some interesting stuff near the beginning um, so anyway I'm going to cut it there um, leave you guys with some food for thought for the uh, uh, information about the storyline and after two boss fights in this episode man I didn't actually think I was going to clear that but that seemed to work out pretty well so thanks for sticking around to everybody that uh, um, that was uh, on stream with me sorry I bumped the mic um, that's cool man um, man yeah speed run DMC4 I know you're good at that one um, but yeah um, so be prepared because um, after um, after the um, oh, uh, the uh, blaze blue cross tag battle beta goes down um, I'm sort of just waiting for um, the last day to finish and then I'm gonna compile um, all the all the videos that we've been saving from the last few sessions we've had and the last few sessions that I've had just by myself and all that stuff I'm gonna set them up uh, into one long compilation video and then I'm gonna go ahead and release that as one big uh, one big project so um, as outside of that Bloodborne um, I doubt I'm gonna be playing tomorrow because this has been a day where I kind of recognized that uh, I shouldn't push it once again um, I think the excitement of getting through that area was um, enough to get me to kind of persevere, get my wits about me and finish it. But um, I definitely should take a break again for at least a day or two maximum. I will be back soon with more Bloodborne, um, but, uh, but for now I will be taking a hiatus for a day or two maximum. So um, it's probably looking likely that um, the next uh, blaze blue cross tag battle video will be coming out before the next bloodborne video does so um be on the lookout for that in the meantime um stay tuned for uh any other uploads that may be coming out thank you very much for watching everybody i really appreciate it thanks mla for uh kind of giving me the push in the direction to finish that boss fight in this episode i'm really glad i did i hope you guys uh, enjoyed some of the lore points and um and the gameplay as well um, and as always, thank you so much for being here. Um, and I will catch you guys in the near future. This is Corey Dean for Transatlantic Gaming, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.